Welcome back to the shrine. Got a situation on hand. We are inside my camper and these new campers are equipped with these LED lights. So there's one here, one over there and one past the HVAC unit. There's multiple different versions of it. Some of them doesn't have the switch in the center and then some of them like this one do have the switch so you can turn them on and off there's also one here as you can see it same thing it uses the switch so the center ones here these three one two and three they are being turned on by this switch here okay you can see the third one is missing since I bought the RV it wasn't working and I took it off so here's the light nothing special it mounts to the ceiling with four bolts and there are two wires that are connected to it so there's a black wire and a white wire and you can see there are two wires here hanging from the ceiling I want to point your attention to the way they uh, drilled or pierced this hole on a ceiling when they installed it <laughs> so that tells the whole story about the RV business and the uh, manufacturing culture or the lack thereof anyways so here is this light and contrary to the lights uh, what we had in the past um, you cannot really replace a bulb here you gotta take the entire light off and uh, if this is not lit you basically have a choice taking it back to the dealer and you know the driller mo dealer most likely has the parts and they can replace it now you can tackle it at home now these are 12 volt lights so if you just shut the switch off right here then that unpowers those wires again it's 12 volts you might want to double check if yours is 12 volts if you have any issues with it so this cover here this cover you see it's got four tabs so and uh, it just pops in so you can take a screwdriver and pry it out and then this cover comes out and then once you remove the cover there are four bolts here and you can remove the four bolts this comes off and then just disconnect it and then you can go and replace it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can troubleshoot these and uh, look inside see what kind of parts are there so the light is on the altar and uh, it's not much complicated so we got eight LEDs here so there's two here two there and two on each side uh, this is pretty common construction. The PCB board is manufactured by Common, C-O-M-M-A-N-D, that's a, a company's name. 170-114M1 is the part number and uh, the one that you have in yours uh, might vary. So you can see these wires are coming in uh, from the back and they sold it to the board and so these are the uh, points where it comes in so white wire is ground and then the black wire is the V++ the board as far as I see doesn't have any marking for uh, voltage so not on the back not on the front uh, but I measured the voltage in the RV and, and it's, it's well known that it's a 12 volt system so what we got here is a schematic I started to draw a schematic here so uh, voltage comes in there's a diode here and you can see the diode uh, and then we have a filter capacitor we have some inductances uh, there is some kind of IC here that does switching uh, a couple of resistors a couple of passives uh, not much to it um, even if you're not knowledgeable in a field of electronics um, you still can try to troubleshoot it if you have a meter like this uh, then you can turn it to a diode mode so there's a diode and what it does it will um, you can you can measure uh, diodes with it and um, 
you can basically go straight in with the leads or you can switch the leads um, you're not gonna burn anything up in a diode mode so what it does it will send a, a small current and uh, figure out the voltage drop on the diode um, so let's do some measurement okay so it's on diode mode so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tap on a diode like so and you can see nothing nothing happens if you cross the leads you know it's it's giving you an audible signal that the leads are crossed so we're gonna go this way and then we can go and swap the wires and I don't know if it shows in the camera but you can see that the four diodes came back on so you can see when I touch the diodes this way okay those four diodes come back alive and we don't see any voltage there so now we can go and swap the wires and check it that way and it shows a reverse voltage there so it's uh, point 414 and it's dropping slowly so there's probably a capacitor being charged right now uh, one of these small caps um, so if I touch it this way it shows the voltage if I touch it the other way you can see the diodes come back alive so we can test the other four and you can see it shows the voltage so this diode is swapped 180 degrees relative to that one so if this is the plus that's that's the minus here so you can see it shows less voltage and you see if I put it this way the other four diodes come back on so what's going on here is we got these we got these diodes uh, so four of the diodes we have them in parallel and then the two banks of diodes we have in series and it's probably one of the ends is connected to negative one is connected to positive um, but there's some other passives here that I didn't show what I did is I went ahead and I measured the voltages on the diodes so you can see they are marked so there's one uh, one through eight and one through four is one bank five through eight is another bank and uh, what you can see here is when I when I touch it so these four will come back alive so that's uh, five through eight and you can see the voltages are 0 0.4 0 0.46 0 0.405 0 0.403 um, so these four are working and then these four are not working and you can see the voltages are much lower 0 0.3 0 0.23 24 0 0.30 so <clears throat> these diodes the four that are not working are are blown and uh, they're not gonna come back alive that's sure so at this point you have a choice of basically taking two soldering irons going like that removing them from the board and then putting new diodes um, you're welcome to find a part number for those digikey probably sells them um, I'm not gonna go there but you can clearly see that the diodes are bad so here's a magnified uh, view and we know that this diode works properly and this diode works properly these two but these two does not work and what you can see on this one there's a black spot in the center I'm not sure how much the camera is going to show that but right in the center there's a black spot and then there's no black spot on these also this one has a black spot right in the center so if you see that on the lights that you're dealing with uh, that LED is most likely um, burnt out so you will need to get a new light modern technology ladies and gentlemen I'm trying to do another test to see if we can see the black spot but I'm looking at it uh, with, a, with a naked eye this LED and this LED do work 
this one and this one doesn't and you can see a black spot in the center so if you see those little black spots then most likely this board uh, is trash because of the because of the diodes and uh, you will need to get a new one so I went ahead and I did some research and uh, Amazon sells these readily you can buy a pack of five for um, 20 bucks I guess you can see these are slightly different so there is no uh, manufacturing mark on it um, <clears throat> so if you compare them this one says comment and this is probably just an aftermarket and as far as the workmanship uh, you know <laughs> you can see the big stain there from the soldering process most of these are surface mounted parts um, and uh, the size the size is the same so if you go online and you're gonna start researching there's all kind of sizes uh, that they're gonna show on the description so here's what the Amazon description says common electronics 5 white lead white base four and a half inch round camper RV trailer dome light switch so it claims four and a half inches so let's go and try to see a four and a half inch size on it again these are the new ones and uh, here's a meter so I'm measuring across and and uh, it clearly shows four and seven eighths instead of four and a half inches so that's one two three four five seven so four and seven eighths is the size the size in uh, millimeters would be 123 124 millimeters um, this size here the opening is 95 millimeters three inches and 11 16 is the opening for the glass now I'm gonna leave this here that's the original one this is the new one you can see there are slight differences as far as construction go so this one has uh, six 12 LEDs so there's six on this side and there's six on this side there's it, it's got a switch in the center that you can toggle it on and off uh, this actually rattles so this whole PCB rattles in the plastic housing uh, the original one doesn't rattle it sits there firmly so the way it's done this PCB is sitting on these ledges uh, molded into the plastic housing and it's got these tabs so there's four tabs one on each side and these tabs are preloaded so when the PCB is inserted uh, then it's holding it firmly now the new one has a similar construction but there is a gap here so you can see they they didn't mold it properly so there's a gap between the tabs right there and the PCB I can stick the end of the uh, tool here in between which is about half a millimeter probably more more than a millimeter gap there so because of that this whole thing rattles and it's not just one of them they all rattle okay um, as far as the PCB goes um, we got some diodes here we got some switching devices little ICs um, no no filter so I think what these uh, uh, inductances do here compare uh, combined with the capacitors they they do some filtering so if there's some voltage irregularities it will filter it and then downstream it's not gonna burn out the LEDs you know you can see it's not really working because those <laughs> LEDs are burned so uh, 20 bucks five pieces okay we're gonna give it a try we're gonna uh, wire it up see how it works okay, here's a 12 volt power supply I'm just gonna go in like that just twist the wires so this is just a computer power supply I've got 5 volts coming out and 12 volts coming out and uh, this is uh, the white wire is negative 
So we're going to hook it up to the ground and then the black wire is positive. So white wire goes into the negative terminal here. Okay, black wire goes into the positive terminal. We got 50-50 chance of this coming on. So, there you go. It's working. And it's super lit. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to test the rest of them. We're just going to take it uh, that they are working. Again, there's no marking for the manufacturer. There's some kind of logo here. And then the part number here says LS1111-B. Uh, um, the glass dome that comes with it is, uh, is similar in construction uh, to the one we have. It's got this on-off um, logo or icon marked into it so I'm guessing that once these um, little divots or protrusions pop in then this is gonna be able to move in and out and uh, and that way uh, you will be able to operate this switch I might just go with the original one so that all the three lights are matching so let's go and uh, and assemble it and see how it looks. So you can take this connector off completely and then the next thing you do is you can pop it open like that and then push this terminal you see this this little metal terminal push it back this way out so put in the wires like so and then shut this cover on it and you take a pair of pliers and you're gonna push in the metal prong through the wires like so and once you did it then you can go and shut the cover on it and you see it will it will lock in so we're gonna do the same thing with this end so I'll just disassemble it like so okay hope you can see it and then we're gonna take this prong and insert it from this side so that it's the back the back of this prong is facing this latch here so again what I'm gonna do is insert it like that well, first of all I cut the end of the wire off okay so it's nice and flush the copper is not sticking out I'm going to insert that here, put the new wire in, close the latch, and with my fifth finger, <laughs> put this all together like so, and then press this together. Okay, so we made both of the connections. Before we put it back on, I'm just going to turn the lights on. and those lights are on this one has the switch so that one is on too so now what we can do is tuck the wires back into the ceiling and orient it and then install the screws so all the screw holes lined up perfectly so we just need to drive them in so the light is installed as you can see I'm gonna go and turn it on and basically I'm gonna use the original cover to match the other three and just pop this back on okay there you have it the only difference between the new light and the old one that this one has 12 LEDs and then the old ones have six LEDs. I'm not sure how much it comes through the video. Hope you guys learned something today. If you like the video please give me a thumbs up and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.